Hey guys, Vikas over here and this is Weir Genius. Guys, today I am with a new video around BBC Microbit. We will see how to send data from the Microbit to any smartphone or mobile devices using the BLE interface. So for this, we are going to use UART service provided by Embed and we will use the Yota offline compilation tool for Embed to compile the particular application. So if you are new to Yota tools, you should check out my earlier video on setting up Yota tools for the BBC Microbit for which I have given the link down below in the description. So I am using Yota as the online embed compiler was not able to compile the code for this and was throwing errors. You can definitely check out if that works for you and let me know in the comments down below. And one more thing, I am using embed as other programming languages doesn't support any UART or data transfer services as far as I have looked into. So if you are aware of any, please let me know in the comments down below. So being said that, let's get started guys. Uh, so guys, to get started with, let's go through the code first. And over here, this is a simple code that will take advantage of the UART service of BBC Microbit and it will send out some data to our payer device when the button is pressed. So let's have a quick walkthrough of this code and the first thing is you include files those are standard libraries those are being used for this. So I don't use these things over here so I can just remove this uh, that was from my earlier project actually okay I'll leave it and there uh, we have created two objects one is for your micro bit and another one is for the UART. Next is where we find a variable that takes care or that diff that shows if our BC micro bit is connected to the pair device or smartphone or anything that is supporting again BLE. Then we have uh, like three functions defined over here. Those are called whenever certain uh, event occurs like unconnected, undisconnected on button A. So as you can understand unconnected is called whenever the BBC micro bit is get paired or get connected with your smartphone or any other device that you are trying to communicate with. Then undisconnected is called whenever the BBC micro bit gets disconnected from the connected or paired devices. Then on button A is called whenever we press the button A of your BBC micro bit. So all these functions are attached to the respective listeners. So while coming into the main function, you will first see ubit.init that initializes the BBC micro bit. Then next is ubit message bus dot listen micro bit id BLE then BLE event connected and it takes the function that is unconnected. So whenever this particular event occurs, this particular function unconnected will be called or this will get executed. Then Similarly, for BLE event disconnected, on disconnected function will be called and microbit button event click. So whenever you press or click the button A, this particular function over here will be called. Next is the UART. So over here on the top, we have already created a UART object and we are defining new microbit UART service that is taking the BLE and some other parameters. I think this is RxTX buffer size or something. Okay, sure. I have not gone through that. So you can just check it out from the documentation. Then next is your UBIT display scroll ready. So this will scroll ready after the micro bit successfully turned on. Everything has been initialized and all. Then finally release five. Okay. So coming into the unconnected, so this will, so when this particular function gets called, it will simply scroll C on the LED matrix. Then it will make the connected variable one so that in rest of our program, we can know if our micro bit is already connected or not. Then it is defining a many string UM that is end of message that is been looked for because if we are sending data from our uh, peer device or connected device this will read until it finds a colon so while sending data from our mobile devices 
we need to put a colon at the end of each sentence that we want to transmit onto the BBC microbit. Then over here is the loop that continues forever as long as connected is one and this simply reads out the data from your output until um is found that is colon and it will uh, just print out or scroll the received data onto the led matrix then on on disconnected function it will simply print out d and it will make the connected variable zero whenever our bbc micro bit gets it connected from the connected device or pair device then on button a function what it does is it checks for the connected variable that means if we are already connected or not if we are connected that means this particular thing over here goes false then it will print connected onto the UART so and and it will scroll Y on the LED matrix So over here the important things are like this, this is UART read until that, may, that is used to read data from the UART or from the VLE interface and this is UART send many string with uh, like the string or variable you want to pass on to that is used to write data onto the UART VLE. So if you are interested with interacting with these things or sending or like receiving data on your own application, you can play around these two functions like send and read. So let's try to compile this by using Yota tools. Now let's open up the Yota tools. So I can simply click on run Yota. So guys, as I said earlier, if you have not developed Yota development tools for offline compilation of your C++ codes for your BBC microbit, you should refer to my earlier tutorial on this, how to set up Yota for compilation of C++ C++ codes for BBC microbit by using offline development tools. So over here, I assume you have already set up Yota and you are ready to go. So over here let's navigate to the C drive where I have my workspace for Yota that is C slash Yota slash then I think BBC Macrobit uh, no sorry workspace 2 then we see micro bit samples I should check out yeah micro bit samples then micro bit sample so let's open up the folder over here getting into Yota workspace 2 this is my Yota workspace then over here get into source and change this main.cp file with the code I showed you earlier. So I have given link to the code that I am going to compile in the description down below. So please download it and change the main.cp file content with the code you have downloaded. Now a code is ready to go and one more thing you need to do is you need to put a config.json file in the microbit samples folder that uh, like enables you to configure the onboard BLE of your BBC microbit on different aspects. So like uh, let's say I'll, uh, so let's see a simple configuration file for the UART service that is this is a simple JSON file that defines different parameters plots parameters for Bluetooth like if enabled is one uh, that means bluetooth is enabled when pairing mode is one that enables all us to pair our bbc micro bit with the mobile or smartphone devices having BLE by using the button a b and reset which i will show you next then open 
one means we need pairing to connect with the BBC Microbit. Then we have used event services. Then we have increased the get table size to 600 bytes. So this is a simple configuration file to get going with the your service. But if you are like interested in configuring other aspects, you can simply refer to the advanced features uh, of the runtime. And this document over here shows you the different available parameters that can be configured. So like compile time parameters. So over here you get different options and you just need to put it like this. This is a simple JSON file showing all the parameters and you can change all those values. So for timing, I am just taking this 4 to 5 parameters which is uh, essential for our reward service. So just copy this config.json file and put it into your microbit samples folder as I have over here let's open it up and you can see okay now under your tools you need to simply type on yt build sorry you need to first run yt clean okay it is throwing a yep clean is done next type in yt build It might take some time. Now after the compilation has been done, you navigate onto the build folder over here, the microbit samples folder, then under BBC microbit classic GCC under source you should see something like microbit samples combined dot hex now we need to copy this particular file over here to our bbc microbit to do that let's connect our bbc microbit to the system and copy this particular file over here to the microbit master device over here paste Now the BBC macro bit should reboot. <coughs> yep, that's done. So let's uh, get to BBC macro bit and our Android app that will be used to exchange data between micro bit and the smartphone. So after connecting the BBC macro bit with the PC, the first thing we need is to pair this BBC macro bit with the smartphone. And the smartphone has to be BLE enabled. So to enter into pairing mode on this BBC microbit, what we need to do is press the button A and button B simultaneously and press the reset button. And hold for some time until you see the message pairing ready. Sorry, pairing mode. Then you should see some pattern over here on the LED matrix. Now on your smartphone, navigate under the Bluetooth settings and under available devices, you will see BBC Microbit listed. Now click on BBC Microbit and as soon as you click on, you will see an arrow mark over on the LED matrix and it points out to the button that you need to press that is button A. Now press button A and you will see some random numbers on the LED matrix and that is the number that you need to enter on the smartphone. So for me it is like 0, oh, sorry. Yeah. 1, 1, 9, 9, 4, 6, 1, 1, 9, nine four six now after entering the number press ok and if the pairing has been successful you will see a tick mark on the microbit LED matrix now just 
make this module restart or reset and on our mobile we are going to use one app that is the microbit blue okay now open up the app i have given the link for this app regular app on the description down below and this app over here is not meant for like your communication but you can use the animal vegetable mineral game to communicate data or transport data between the devices so this is not uh, like uh, particularly for your communication but you can work around with it until we develop our own application to transfer data so and i am working on right now on some application that will solely be used for communication between bc microbit and the smartphone but uh, again i will cover those things on upcoming videos now open up animal vegetable mineral game and let's try to send some data over here uh, let's say i'll put hello terminated by a column and i'll send it so now you can see on the led matrix you see hello is scrolling and that is as we have designed in our code now as soon as i press a on my phone i can see connected print or uh, that is popping out so this is a simple notification that is popping out connected and this means uh, the bbc microbit has sent the data that is nothing but the connected string onto the phone let's try once again and again you can see it is printing hello whatever is sent from our mobile app so that's always this guys uh, you can see we are able to transmit data between bbc microbit and the android app so if you are going for your own application that should be able, uh, like able to transport data between the devices we should look into the bli apis on android so that's all for today guys thank you thanks for watching see you next time